guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weets, and Tarot, and today I'm jumping in with a little bit of a story time for you guys. I literally just finished making a tag video <laughs> that my friend Steph had created, which is why I'm like dressed exactly the same as like another video you guys just saw. So I just kind of felt like I needed to share this story because it's something that's like literally been on my mind uh, since the thing so um here we go i mean um <laughs> the uh the the title of this video and like you know everything it's i mean i'm not trying to do like clickbait or anything that's like it, that's literally the thing so <laughs> let's let's rewind and let me take you back to where this story starts and then i'll take you up to the present and i do have pictures and everything like that so here we go so this story takes place during uh, spring break of this year, spring break, so April 2019. Uh, as many of you know, I saved up and I finally got my dream car in July of last year. So I have now almost had my dream car for about a year and I'd been saving up for like five years for that car, like, you know, like really saving up for that car. And I've been wanting that car since I was, uh, well, 12 years old. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's my baby, my, uh, 2013 Dodge Viper so um, the dude and I like to take out the Viper maybe um, on a Saturday or on a Sunday so usually uh, I'll let him drive it up wherever we're gonna go and then I drive it back because he loves to drive it too because it's a fun car <laughs> so um, this is spring break uh, of course I'm not teaching you know I'm out of school and uh, we have the Viper out and we're, we're going through uh, what's called the Sunset Highway. It's kind of out in the back roads off the, the eight um, freeway um, here in San Diego. And we're just kind of like, you know, going through and my boyfriend kind of likes to take the roads kind of, kind of quick because the car can handle, you know, so we're not gonna die or anything. Um, but all of a sudden, you know, while we're going through and we're having fun and um, there's not a lot of cars out there. In fact, there's really no cars out there. It's, it's, which is why it's like, okay to maybe like push the car every once in a while because there aren't any other cars out there. And so if you do get hurt, you're not hurting anybody else, you know, being stupid out there. So, <laughs> um, so the, uh, the dude and I are kind of, you know, going around in the car and we were pushing it, it like a couple of times. I don't want to say like how fast, but you know, we were, we we're pushing it a little bit. I mean, not to any sort of limit of the car because the car can go over 200 miles an hour. We're not going anywhere near 200 miles an hour. Okay. Cause I don't want to die. Um, so all of a sudden I get this feeling that Paul Walker is with us. Okay. Did I ever know Paul Walker in like real life, real life? Like, no. Uh, are we like fans of the fast and the furious and like into the blue and varsity blues and like all that kind of stuff? Like, yeah, you know, we we're Paul Walker fans. And like the joke in our household is that, uh, Paul Walker was movie Brian and into the blue. Um, Jessica Alba was like movie me if we were like better looking people, you know? <laughs> so, um, so when Paul Walker passed away, it actually hit my dude pretty hard and his best friend because like they, they really liked him genuinely as, I mean, they like they didn't know him personally, uh, but of all the wonderful things that he did for others and for him to be just kind of like a dude, like he just liked making movies and um, he just liked to, you know, race cars and he just liked helping people and he just liked surfing and like he was just a dude that just happened to also be a movie star you know he kind of seemed uh you know kind of down to earth and um and really like generous and genuine and like the like a people's person like he cared about humanity and animals and things like that and so you know it, it hit a lot of people really hard in fact every year um, people still go visit uh, the crash site where he passed away and a lot of people still go visit his grave site so it was like uh, whoa what's Paul Walker's spirit doing in this car <laughs> so I tell my dude I'm like hey Paul Walker's with us and he's like well it's because it's a badass car and I was like oh okay you know but then I just get this nagging feeling like Paul Walker's like, no, 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 no. I like, I'm not here to be like, Hey, I'm Paul Walker. But it was like, um, he sent, he gave me a message and the message was tell your boyfriend to slow down. Um, now <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, Paul Walker says to slow down, like take it easy. And he's like, why? Uh, I mean, he did slow down, but I was like, um, I was like trying to listen for more messages. And Paul Walker said the passenger front tire on the inside um, something's wrong and I don't like it. I need you guys to slow down. And I was like, 
okay so that's what I told my dude he slowed down he was like okay I'll check it out when we get home we get home and you know he he looks at it from the outside and he kind of feels like on the inside he's like no he says that's just normal tread wear he says I mean you are due for new tires because they are uh, old tires and he says and they are old for this kind of car um, I mean you know they're you shouldn't have old tires on a performance car anyway and in general you shouldn't have old tires the reason being is when you have tires that are old or um, the tread is really low the tires do not respond the way they need to respond on the road so if you're trying to hit the brakes or steer the car in a certain way your tires will not respond the way they should which is why people in like regular little cars that are like speeding along the road like going really fast like dangerously fast those car those tires that are on those uh, just general cars are not meant to go the speeds that those people are taking them which is why they end up like crashing and stuff like that so just like FYI like car knowledge um, so uh, I have a 2013 Viper the um, date of the tires we thought were 2013 as well which is pretty old <laughs> you know because this is like 2019 um, so we looked and he said it was fine so I figured like oh well, maybe it was just like wishful thinking that like, you know, Paul Walker's in the car with us, you know? Um, but I still had a feeling like something is there that my boyfriend can't see. But you know, I trust, I trust my boyfriend's judgment because he is like Mr. Car Guru, like he knows everything about cars. Um, like he's, if you wanna know something about a car, you go to him, like no matter if it's a performance car or just like, you know a Miata or a lots of performance car okay if it's like if it's like I don't know um, <laughs> a Prius or something like that like he knows everything <laughs> I was gonna say a ute but he knows stuff about utes as well <laughs> and not like utes like the youths from my cousin Vinny not like that okay continuing on in the story so um, we after that that weekend we were not able to take the car out again for a while uh, actually all throughout May because it rained uh, all throughout May here in San Diego and when it's raining out we don't take the nice car out so uh, the car didn't get to go out um, then June rolls along we are currently in June um, I am a teacher so school gets out in June uh, the last day of school the date my seniors graduated was on June 7th um, and then that weekend was my birthday weekend. You know, my birthday was on the 10th, which was a Monday, and we decided we were gonna take out the car on June 9th, the day before my birthday. Um, and so we go to uh, the place where my car is stored, and uh, his buddy has dropped off the Hellcat, because his buddy has been using um, the Hellcat. They kind of like take turns using the car. Um, and I was like, oh, hey, the Hellcat's here. And my dude's like, okay, so let's go warm up the Viper. And all of a sudden, I had something in my stomach that was like, no, don't take the Viper. And I was like, well, I know the Viper needs new shoes, like, you know, new tires. So I don't feel like we should take out the Viper today. And the dude's like, really? And he was like, I mean, he says, your tires aren't that bad. And we're not going to push it too hard. We're just going to, you know, go have a little fun. And I was like, no, I feel like we should take a different car. And he's like, okay, well, I mean, like, whatever you want to do. I mean, it's the day before your birthday. I thought you might want to have a little bit of fun in your car. You know, it's your car. And I was like, yeah, and it needs an oil change too, you know? So I feel, just feel like we shouldn't take the car. And so we didn't take the car. Okay, fast forward uh, to, um, a, a, was it Father's Day? Yeah, so Father's Day. Um, the 16th <laughs> um, the dude decided for my birthday you know I had bought I had bought my own tires for for my car you know I I'm still saving money for the car so that if anything goes wrong I have a little like a little emergency fund and I call it my Viper fund which is you know in my, in my, one of my bank accounts and so I've been you know putting money in there and so I had enough money to buy new shoes or new tires for the car and and so my dude for a birthday present had um, paid to install them so we went to discount tire um, they installed the tires and everything and as they were taking off you know the old tires they take off the passenger side front tire and they're like hey boss come on over here so me and my dude come on over because by the way we've been watching the car the whole time because we don't want them like messing up my car or, or taking my car for a joyride <laughs> not that I don't trust discount tire but you know <laughs> so um so uh, they, 
you know, we come over and he's showing us, and I'll insert a picture, he's showing us the inside of the tire, meaning uh, the part of the uh, sidewall that's facing you know, towards the engine, meaning the outside that my boyfriend couldn't see and not on the actual tread, it's on the inside of the tire. It was splitting all the way around. It's coming apart. And it wasn't like that when we bought the car a year ago because we had it up on the rack and we checked those tires and they were fine. So this was recent as of April. And so um, none of the other tires look like that. It was just the passenger front tire. And so, uh, oh, one of the mechanics there had a brother who owns a Viper ACR, which is like a badass Viper. Uh, <laughs> that's a track uh, vehicle. Um, he's like, he says, man, he says, you guys are, it's a good thing that you're coming in to change out these tires because if you would have pushed it, you know, going like 140, 150 miles an hour, he goes, that tire just would have gone. You guys would have spun out. You would have been toast. And I was like, dude. And I, I, I looked at my boyfriend, I was like, didn't I tell you? I told you. I told you. I told you there was something wrong with the passenger front tire on the inside. And I was like, Paul Walker's ghost was right. And he was like, like he had no words. He was like, wow. Wow. We would have been dead. We would. Like, because he knows his driving habits. He's like, we would have died. And I was like, we would have died the day before my birthday. I would have never made it to 38. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Um, yeah, so there was, yeah, that was interesting. And I just thought I would share that story with you guys because, um, you know, whatever feelings you guys get when you feel like something's wrong or like you feel like a ghost pops in, but it's like a celebrity ghost and you're like, what celebrity would be talking to me? You know, I would say trust that instinct. Who knows? Maybe it really was Paul Walker's ghost. Maybe it was just an energy, a relative of mine that, you know, was impersonating Paul Walker because then I would take more notice of like, whoa, it's like a celebrity that I know. Who knows for sure? Um, I, I do kind of have the feeling that in the spirit world, it's not like it is here on earth. Like they don't get, people who are celebrities don't get to maintain like a celebrity status or when they're on the other side, it's not like they're VIPs or anything. They just become energy just like everyone else and everything else and every animal. And it's all the same kind of energy over there. You know, I mean, different vibrations of energy, of course, you know, that's like for a different video. Um, but you know when we like let's say perceive a ghost here you know like oh it's the ghost of marilyn monroe or whatever like we we still attribute that human like oh they have celebrity status still when really they're just a spirit now and so i think that whether or not that was paul walker you know maybe it was just a spirit coming through like impersonating you know his image it definitely made me take notice and it saved my life and it saved the life of my boyfriend and so I decided I, you know to like pull some cards after that and I was like if we would have taken the car out on June 9th you know what have what would have been the outcome and uh, the cards do not turn out very fav favorably for me. It kind of says that, you know, my, my boyfriend may have survived the, the accident, but I would not. So um, yeah, it's just, you know, since then, uh, since my birthday and everything, I've just really been um, focusing. I mean, I've focused on my mortality before and it's, you know, but it's kind of a thing that's like in your face and it's like, you know, all the wonderful things since, since the 10th, you know, that I probably wouldn't have been able to do, you know, all the, um, you know, so I've, I've really been much more cognizant, you know, every day, like, you know, like this morning when I was like, oh, I have to work out. And then I was thinking, you know, you probably, if you weren't here, you wouldn't have to worry about working out. And I was like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna work out because it does a body good you know so um, it's really made me just um, be very um, appreciative and happy that I'm here with this path that I have and living the the life that I have and even if I have had things in my past that like suck really bad 
in all in all, I'm just happy to be here. So I'm going to continue living life to the fullest and trying to be um, as positive a person for other people as I can. You know, I, I really get this feeling it's like, well, you know, maybe you're here for a reason. It's not just so that you can own your fancy car, but you know, maybe, um, I need to really focus on like the words that I put out here, you know, on social media or just like, you know, on, on a daily basis, the thoughts that I put out, you know, um, and just being much more mindful, um, because yeah, <laughs> there, there will be a time when there is no more me, you know, as, as we know it now, I will be back in spirit, but, um, you know, and there have been other times, you know, I've had some pretty close calls and it's been kind of like a miracle that I survived, you know, I've survived electrocution, I've survived drowning, I've survived, um, some pretty heinous car accidents. I've survived, uh, almost getting run over by a semi truck when I was five. Like I've, I've survived like a lot of stuff and maybe I'll do a video on like all my near death experiences. If you want me to do that, Hey, just list that down below and just say, Hey, we want to hear all your crazy stories. Um, but yeah, so I just really felt like I needed to share this with you guys. It's just been crazy. I think about it every day of like, you know, everything that I do, what if I wasn't here to be able to do any of those things anymore? You know, why, why am I just like, you know, I'm, I'm making sure that everything I do every day is no waste. Like, it's not just like I sat here and did nothing today. Like I didn't communicate with anybody. Like I didn't tell people how much I love them. I didn't try to send people here on social media or people around me, you know, with love, you know, I didn't, you know, I wouldn't be here for my, my kitties, you know, it's like, you know, I, I need, I need to be here for people so that I can, um, continue sending love and happiness and giving you guys crazy stories to, you know, <laughs> you know, whatever that does for your day. Uh, which is why, you know, I try not to, um, put much negativity on my channel. Although, you know, I do have bad days. I just feel like that, you know, if people are coming for entertainment and people are, um, you know, maybe having a bad day and they want to watch one of my videos, I just want to make sure that it's a video that's going to be positive and uplifting for them. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you homies and yeah, I guess I will catch you spiritual homies later. So again, if you want to hear more of my crazy I almost died stories although that one's like <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> um, you know and of course you know I, I tried to insert photos and all that for you guys but yeah just let me know in the comment section down below and if you dug this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this and yeah I will catch you spiritual homies later all right Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out. My dream car is the uh, Carrera GT. The Por Porsche Carrera GT would be, that's the top.